In the conference, what you're going to do is interesting, but what you are going to experience is something that I cannot speak of. The next person that I would want to introduce is someone who I adore very much. And I know that I'm going to fail in introducing him. And in fact, my failure is my success because I will give, that will give me another opportunity to do so. His name means the one without any enemies. His face always bears the tranquility, which, which is sometimes very difficult for us to digest. It appears as if it is next to impossible. How can a person be so calm and peaceful? I would introduce Brahma Kumar Rajyogi Bika Nirvarji. He is the Secretary General of Brahma Kumaris. He is the Managing Trustee of the Global Hospital and Research Center. More than anything else, he is a father figure to all of us. I would request Rajyogi Brahma Kumar Nirvarji to share his words of wisdom. Nirvarji. Most respected medical scientists, dear sisters and brothers. It's indeed a matter of great honor, for Prajapita Brahma Kumari's Ishwari Vishwidyale to be part of this kind of special conference connected with preventive as well as clinical cardiology. Though we are not medical scientists, but we find that even the medical scientists sometimes they need some time for themselves to reflect, to think about what has been shared, who we are. There are many other aspects connected with spirituality. There are questions in the minds of each and every individual, even after going through several uh, philosophical books and listening to very many lectures, discourses, It's something very beautiful that there comes a time in the cycle of the world. I think most of us who are born in India, we all believe in four aspects of time which reflect the stages of well-being, stage of spirituality, stage of health of the society. We call them Satyug golden age, treta age, silver age, then copper age, and where are we now? This is, the, everyone knows, this is Kalyug, iron age. Why such wording is used for the 
different aspects of time. It's not the time. It's the stage of consciousness of human beings. There was a stage when there was natural soul consciousness. And there was such a beautiful way of interaction with each other. Only to give happiness and receive happiness. But everyone knows in every field of life sciences, there is so much of competition. Some people call it cutthroat competition. And because of the competition, all the negativities have been developed in individuals. So in our interactions, such negativities, they bring lot of inner peacelessness, sorrow. And of course, we all in India know there are court cases in millions. This is a place where we are given an opportunity. I would say this is an opportunity of life that we are able to detach, sit back, reflect, think about what is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is bad, not only for one's own self, not only for one's own family, but the entire society. I'm very happy and I congratulate the organizing committee headed by respected Dr. H.K. Chopra and of course the other members of the committee including our Dr. Satish Gupta that you have thought of bringing science and spirituality together. Experiments started very many years ago, nine, nine or ten years ago. Slowly and slowly, there is recognition the beauty of spirituality is being recognized. There is one thing I like to mention here. Spirituality does not mean mantras, chanting of name or anything. Spirituality does not mean any rituals. No, it's a way of life based on that pure consciousness of being human souls. Every human soul in originality is born pure. Peace is our own birthright. Peace is our own nature. But we all know the whole world is searching for peace. There are conferences on peace. There are negotiations on peace. How I wish people had realized the fact 
that each one of us human souls we belong to one the supreme being who is remembered as ocean of peace and why ocean of peace not for himself he bestows that peace to all the souls on earth those who look up to him they perceive they receive they multiply and then they share with others so i'm very happy to welcome all the delegates especially our honorable guests from abroad from different parts of the world and of course from different parts of india hearty welcome most welcome i'm sorry i forgot dr prashar's name he has been a part of the organizing committee right from the beginning when we started with the first conference and his support and his guidance has always been very very valuable and of course the other members of the organizing committee and dr pratap dr banarsi they are all part of the team i'm very happy that our senior brother mr bridge mohan anand he has spared some of his very valuable time though he himself is busy in organizing another seminar for political leaders at gyan sarovar and our beloved sisters sister mohini sister muni ishudadi brother karuna brother mirthunje they are our pillars they have been always always not only guiding but practically helping each other in seeing that every event is 100% successful and i'm sure your conference is going to be 200% successful om shan thank you thank you very much nivedh bhai ji